What's up, YouTube, man? We about to get into this video, bro. Right now, we got this Avengers beta that dropped yesterday or two days ago, I believe. Yesterday, excuse me. I'm about to go ahead and get into this. I'm about to break this down. There was a couple people who wanted me to break it down, you know, tell them how, to, how it was before they actually pre-ordered because you can't download the beta unless you pre-order it. Unlike 2K, you can download the beta and then buy the game. This is a game you have to buy, so a lot of people don't want to buy it. You know what I'm saying? They don't want to buy it. They want to, you know what I'm saying? They want to see how the game is before they buy it. So first, we're going to get into the outfits. There's a couple outfits they have on the game. Uh, they got the Hulk outfit. We're going to get into the outfits since this is the closest thing. These is not the only outfits. Well, these are the only outfits you can purchase for now. It's more outfits I'm going to show later on in the gameplay. Um, my opinion on the outfits, man, it's it's nice, bro. I ain't gonna lie, it's nice for that for this company for this to be their first Avengers game. They really did good with the gameplay. I feel like the only thing they have to fix is once you play a multiplayer, your screen kind of blur up once you combo and moves together and you play a multiplayer, your screen kind of blur up. But it is the beta; it's not a full game, so. I'm not really gonna, you know, speak on anything like that. But the outfits is really dope, though. Y'all ain't gonna lie. The outfits is dope. They got emotes. Um, you can, you know, every player probably got their own emotes. It looks sweet in game. Um, they got nameplates. So, how it works is, all right, y'all gotta really pay attention to this. How it works is, every player that you buy have their own nameplates like basically like if you play call of duty and you know your nameplate that shows up after you kill somebody the nameplate at the bottom every player if you got hawk he has his own nameplate if you got miss marvel she got her own nameplate if you got you know black widow she got her own nameplate so every character got their own nameplate so a whole bunch of nameplates in the game these is the other things right here you got this Hawk um, outfit right here. You got the Hawk outfit with the hat. Um, you got Miss Marvel. You got her name plates. Black Widow. And these is remember these are not the only outfits in the beta. There's more outfits in the beta that you can get besides these. I'm about to show you how you can get them right now. Okay, um, that's just the news. We're gonna go to continue right now. We're gonna, we're gonna get into the gameplay right now, y'all. Yeah. All right, what's up, you two? We back, we back in the, um, I guess it's the helicarrier, like the headquarters of the Avengers. Um, this is the war table, and the war table is where all the missions will start up. So right now, by this being a beta, we don't have many missions to play. We only have, I think, a total of, what, like 10? Total of 10 missions. So as you see, it's probably when the game comes, you'll be able to move the whole war table and spectate other missions all across the globe. That'd be dope. As you see, there's no missions on this side. This whole big map is no missions on this side of the world. It's only these right here in these specific locations. Now, um, we're going to go back here. I'm going to take y'all around, you know, the heli the helicarrier. Show y'all how the graphics look. And then we're going to get into what's the meaning of the game and how the game will work. And we're going to get some gameplay later on of the multiplayer I have some teammates who pre-ordered their game and we're all going to play this is what the helicarry look like and the graphics mm, the graphics is nice i'm not gonna lie the graphics is real nice you look down there you see the graphics is nice like i said earlier in the video only thing i feel like they should fix is the buffering it it, it buffers and blur up and in, in multiplayer but like I said again, it's only the beta, so I'm not really going, you know, go off that. So yeah, it, it's 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 nice in here, though. I ain't gonna lie. I hope when it drops, they add more players, bro. Like 
when I say more players, I mean if 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 your team can walk in through this, that'd be cool. That'd be cool if they let your team walk through this. I don't think they can walk through this. I think everybody got their own health care. But if it was to where if you got four players in your lobby, they all can walk through this and all stand up to the war table together. I feel like that'd be dope. Um player versus player. I feel like player versus player would be dope. And then we go. I'm gonna go ahead, bro. We go ahead, go ahead and get to all the gameplay and what you gonna be doing with your players and more skins right now. All right, y'all. We back. We about to go ahead and get into the ratings and what y'all gonna be playing the game for. Like, what's the meaning? A lot of people don't want to pre-order Avengers Marvel game because they don't know what's the meaning of the game. I'm about to explain it. So as you see up top in the left corner, you see me melee melee range, defensive rating, range rating, and hero heroic rating. So this is the regular stats for uh, the average player all of the player stats are like this but you can get these ratings higher when you play as you see melee it says the melee damage um the critical damage so once you go down here to gear as you play you pick up gear off the ground so gear is like on the ground so you see this one say 18 and it shows what that you need to you know upgrade it so as you see you need 12 see right but yeah, I'm pretty sure I can see that where it say resource requirement and say 158 through 12 So and that is right here. You pick these up off the map to upgrade Your gear so if you go over to this and you hold square it'll boost it to a higher level now It's a 19 so that means Your power is going up now look up top look at your your melee uh, Your melee ratings up top see where it say plus 24% so if you keep boosting this it's going to stop soon depending on how high the character overall is so it's 21 it gets higher depending on the character overall so this is the character overall and this is the power of the character so say if you play online and if it is player versus player if, if you playing with somebody who have this same character who is a level 10 and a power level 30 you're going to die faster so it's like best you grind all your characters out just like 2k if you was a 60 overall on 2k and you play against a 90, he's ah, he's going to beat you even if he had the same build or same player as you, right? So, that's basically what this is, but in Marvel, in a Marvel type way. So, when she equip this, boom. So, now, her player, her melee, ram, melee ratings went up to 173, right? This right here is the defense. So, as you see, you need 12 to upgrade this. You keep upgrading this and... You, I got so much because I look like I've been playing. I love keeping playing this a lot. Like I've been playing a lot of missions over and over to upgrade my players. So now you see my player still is a level 12, but her power rating is higher because I'm adding other things on there. So you can only go to this until you get your player level higher. Once you get your player level higher, so if she was like a level 30, you could obviously get a higher rating, you know put on so I don't have oh I do okay I got this one right here this is 14 and you really can put any one really like it's like you would think just go to the highest one you really don't have to go to the highest one it's look at the gear perks so you know like on Call of Duty you have perks that help you out you know in the long run like dead silence or well what's the perk on um, Call of Duty um ghost it takes your you know all it takes you off the map so nobody can see on the UAV so if you read the perks It'll tell you what it does for each one. So whichever one you want, you could use this one and then just upgrade it higher than the other ones. You see what I'm saying? You can do that. It depends on what you want from you know the perks. See the regular one, it has no perks. It's a regular six, but you can still. Uh, I think you can still upgrade it once you take it off. And when a grand, when a real game come out, as you see, this is uncommon. I'm pretty sure y'all know what uncommon means. So that means that you can possibly get rare, legendary, different things. So just imagine how powerful your character would be if you had like a legendary, adapt spark one like this. You know what I'm saying? That'll be that'll be fire. You know what I'm saying? So, and this is uncommon. Like I'm pretty sure everybody know what uncommon is. Like on Fortnite, when you get an uncommon gun, it's the green. And you get a rare, it's the blue, and legendary, the orange. So that's basically how it is. this is. This is a regular common one. And you can still, you know, keep ungrading whatever one you want to upgrade. So, and it tell you which everyone does. So, this say 6%, uh, this say 
uh, another six percent so this one obviously the highest so you can upgrade this to 13 put that on your character um, this right here is heroic so uh, well, I don't really know how to explain the heroic ratings I don't really know what that mean I'm thinking it's like just striking like I don't know at me at first I thought it was like stamina or health but this one right here is health this one right here is range and this one right here is melee so I'm thinking this is like a personal thing like the the overall character I'm thinking this is like the overall character like heroic you know what I'm saying like you just think of like some just being like strong and powerful so this one right here will be the best one because it's all the way at 20 level 20 we put that on her power is at 16 she still a level 2 though so you can use these things right here too that you find you find everything off the map bro like so you take these you can upgrade these upgrade all these up to level 5 it takes two and you take this you can upgrade these upgrade that to level five and I'm thinking you can put these on so yeah so okay so as you can see this one right here is locked you can get one for right here Hold on. I don't really know I don't know how to put that one on I, ain't gonna lie. I don't know how to put that on I'm gonna lie. We're just gonna go over here to skills. We're gonna break down the skills. I'm pretty sure everybody knows what skills is. So as you play, you upgrade every time you upgrade your player level up, you get an extra skill point. So this is like different moves you can pick. So light attacks, you it say while sprinting press square, you can do this move right here. Um while dodging press square, you can do that move right there. Every player have their own unique moves. Um, these are the heavies. Um, repeatedly press square, 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 triangle. And then that's the move you'll get. So you unlock all these moves. You know, you your player have, have better move sets. Oh, that move kind of fired, huh? I'm gonna lie. I feel like every player is good in their own way. I ain't gonna lie. And it's not a, and I'm going to tell y'all something now, it's not an easy game, it's not easy. Some people think you can get on here and just fight, I actually was playing it bro, it's really challenging bro. Like, you really have to get on here and play IQ, you have to, you know, get the right team. By this being a demo, it's like, you know, it's easy because it's the demo. It's the demo, so you don't really get to choose every character. So, most missions, you really have to play IQ, like, if it's a harder mission, and you'll really have to use Iron Man even though you want to use Hawk you really have to use Iron Man and in certain missions because of his range attacks every character literally moves how you expect them to move Hawk all like he when it comes to dodging attacks he's not really good at a dodging attacks but if you get his defensive ratings high you wouldn't have to you know dodge really you could just stand and just fight if you get it if you get as high it's really a grind though it's not really hard because you really have to play to upgrade like you can't sit on the game and just think that your player gonna get upgraded like just by doing nothing though like you really to get your player rating high you really have to do other things and if they do got player versus player that'll be lit in here and as you can see and a lot of people don't know it is cross play bro it's cross play it's really cross play you can play with people on xbox if you add the marvels the marvel account i don't know the name i think it's called square i'm gonna just say square i'm pretty if y'all download the game y'all know what i'm talking about you have to make an account before you play it's called square i don't know as you see uh my friend gamma um so and they have something like a battle pass on her too for each character each character have their own battle pass if you go to challenge cards this is like a battle pass to like Call of Duty or Fortnite, whatever y'all play. Once you play with a certain character, even though my character is a level two, y'all remember that, right? As you play, you skip all these tiers and unlock different tiers. So every character have other tiers that you can unlock. So as you see, once you get to the, you know, level 60 or like every other game, Call of Duty got level 100, 
you know, well, this one have 40. As you get the 40 on this character, and as you can see, you get this skin unlocked, you get the lock emotes. You can do these in emotes in game. All you really have to do is like push down. You can do them in game. I'm gonna get into the gameplay a little bit later on. Now I'm gonna show y'all other characters and how you know how it works when you using other characters, other characters finishing moves. So we about to go ahead and get right into that now. All right, so now we gonna get into the other four characters that you play with on the beta. When the game come out, I'm pretty sure they gonna have Hawkeye. Um, spider-man um thor cap they're gonna have a lot of different players you can select right now through the beta you can only select miss marvel hawk iron man and black widow those are the only characters you can select as you can see attributes depending on what character you play with the most they're going to have a higher attribute than other characters so i don't know how this player have like no might none of my players okay she got might that's probably because her power level is higher than every other character because what i just showed y'all in the last clip i just was upgrading her now she a power 17 so probably that's why her might is higher so i'm gonna show y'all what all the other characters does so once you use hawk we're gonna click hawk on here even though hawk only got a power six that's the skin i got for hawk so now these is hawk moves i'm gonna go through the moves with y'all I'm pretty sure I want to see the heavy. Okay, that move fire. That's a regular move you get to get. That's a regular move. That move fire ain't gonna lie. I haven't been upgrading my heart for real. That move fire. Oh yeah, that move fire ain't gonna lie. I'm pretty, I'm pretty, I'm kind of like sure that they gonna have a uh, player versus player, cause they got power ratings. So it's like, if you have a hawk that isn't upgraded and your hawk only does a thousand damage, and somebody else hawk does two thousand damage, you clearly gonna lose, clearly. So. But it'll make the game fun if they do do player versus player. It'll get make people really want to play it. I'm kind of sure that they're gonna do player versus player because i kind of know what how they did this game they kind of made it like um let me pull up on my phone huh? i can't really think of the game but it's a marvel game on the app store i've been playing for like um years it's kind of old it's, it's an adventures game it has all the characters on there i can't really think of the name of it it's not not contest of champions future fight is it future fight It's Future Fight. It's a game on the phone called... Is it Future Fight? Yeah, it's a game on the, on the App Store. If you have iPhone, it's a game on the App Store called Marvel's Future Fight. Download it and you will see it's player versus player too. You can see that they basically made this game like Marvel's Future Fight. Everything in here is basically like everything you can do on the game. You got your same move settings, your same specials. If you ever play that, I don't know if most of my people who follow me probably that follow me because the Avengers have played it. If you're a real Avengers fan, you know about it. That's basically what they did the game off of. So if they had did the game off that, but just on PlayStation, I always wanted to play a Marvel's game. That's why I'm so into this. That's why I'm about to be dropping a lot of YouTube videos on it. Um, Cause you know, I did used to play that game. Matter of fact, I'm about to download it back in my phone right now. Yep, you're downloading back in because now that I think about it, that game was fire. Um, now, shoot, I done showed y'all everything. Every player got their own special moves. Now I'm about to get into the gameplay and show y'all how it works when you playing, you know, online. I'm about to show y'all. Alright, All right, yeah. Alright, we're going to start with the last part of this video the full gameplay. Um, I'm pretty sure when the whole game come out, they're going to have different maps. These are just the 10 maps that you can play. For right now, they got 10 maps that you can play. This is the best one on the beta. 
if I had to rate the game, the beta, if I had to rate the beta, one out of ten, I'ma have to give it a nine. I ain't gonna lie, I can't give it a ten for the simple fact I don't like when you playing multiplayer and once you combo and moves together, it blur up like it, like the motion of the game just blur up. It gets like I don't know what you give it, Gamma. I gotta give it a nine, bro. Nine and a half at least. Just that one thing that just messed up. I'm attempting to locate the shield agents and will update your heart shortly. Ah uh, yeah. Nah. To I gotta give your progress. Be careful. That's only the beta. This is when the whole game nine, come on. I ain't gonna lie. I'm, only reason I say nine because they could have made Iron Man better. And yeah, that was good. Facts. Facts. An elite aim team is close by and on alert. Updating your heart. So as y'all can see, this is the free free roam. As you can say, as you can see, it says 29 meters. I literally don't have to go that way. If I wanted to, you literally can go anywhere on the map that you please. And that's only for this mission. Just imagine when more game, when when a full game come out. Look, I didn't even go there, and there's people over here attacking me, as y'all can see. Um, she has every character have their own special moves. Damn. Your teammates have to revive you too once you play. See how the damage comes up on every move you do? Oh, they killing me, y'all. They killing me. Come on. I think L1 and R1 is like the full special. Don't every character got the R1 and L2 is the main special, right? Or is that just yeah. this character? Well, you okay. press both of them. Yeah, yeah. Every character main special is L1 and R1 together. Some. There's no big rocks. No big rocks. To be honest, y'all, it kind of reminds me of if y'all ever played Spider-Man. This this map here reminds me of Spider-Man. If y'all ever played Spider-Man, um, you know Spider-Man was free roam. You could literally roam around the whole map. This is what it kind of reminds me of. I feel like if the full game gonna be way better, just imagine they add Deadpool, Groove. Uh, Drax, characters like that, Juggernaut, as um, different characters. I feel like, yeah, this would be fire. Wolverine, and then different maps. Cause I know in the, I know in the trailer they had a map where it was looked at like this, but it was all light outside. It wasn't dark. This is the only map that's like a street and it's dark. But on the trailer it was a street and it was light. So. This is for sure be fire to go around with people. I'm pretty sure they're gonna have player versus player. I'm not gonna lie, player versus player or teammate versus teammate. You're good now. Yeah, I mean, what you think about player versus player in this game? What you think? Player versus player? How you think they gonna make it? What you think it'll be similar to? As in another game. If they did player versus player in something like this. As you can see how your player move around. Just imagine a player versus player like this. It would, I, you can't It'll really. Probably... Ah, cause like they'll probably have to limit the levels type of junk if it's like that. You know what I'm saying? Right. Cause if it's like everybody got a higher level before, like just for example, like if somebody got a higher level than you and you probably just got the game or like you've been playing for a little bit, it ain't gonna be a good game. You gonna get smacked. Right. For sure. right. So they're gonna have to like, yeah, for sure. If I have to relate player versus player on this game to another game, I've related to, 
I can't relate it to Mortal Kombat because you know Mortal Kombat is side to side. Nah, it's gone. I can't relate it to it's Mortal Kombat. Like... Okay. I can't really think of no. Game. I would want to say it has to be like DC Universe Online if you played that before. DC, y'all played it, but I, I never fought nobody. Like I ran around and fought. Like around it, it had to be like you know how like we free roaming right now. It yeah. had to be like that, but like player limit or like player health limit. Right. But I don't know though. I feel like I don't know. I feel like player versus player would be a personal option. Like just like 2K. You see what I'm saying? Just like 2K. Like if you get on the game and you a 60, it's like if you use your brain, you go to parts. You already know everybody else is gonna be. You feel me? 90 overalls, and you know you gonna lose to you're a 60. So. It's a per I think it'll be a personal thing if you want to play player versus player. So my 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 Black Widow is a high enough level. Well, what if it's matchmaking? What if it's matchmaking skill based? Yeah, that's mm. what I was saying. That's what I was basically saying. Mm. Level ones versus level ones. Level twos versus level twos. Yeah. Mm, I feel like that that'd be a nice addition to the game if they do player versus player. But if y'all can see when I'm fighting, it kind of blurs up a little bit, but it's only the, you know, it's only the, the beta, so I can't really, you know, be mad at that. Hopefully they fix that in the whole game, because that kind of like, doesn't mean mad, but it's like, it, 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 it makes the game look not PlayStation, it, it give me PlayStation 3 vibes, basically when you punch it, and it get blurry. It give me like PlayStation 3 vibes. If they fix that, and another thing I want y'all to know, the missions is not easy. It's not easy, like, Yo, they, you really, they, not. right, right. They really can kill you. You Execute. really can die. Some I'm people try to on by because they feel like, oh, I can get on there and just beat, and you feel me, just fight and just kill everybody. Like, Hulk just the best. Look, if you got Hulk, you can really die. Like, you really can really die. And I like that, I like that. Like, don't nobody want to play no game, they get on there and they just beat everybody up. You know what I'm saying? And then they take the point out the game. Thing right now, I'm dying like a mug. Yeah, they just gotta fix the world motion blur. It get kind of blurry when you, you know, running around on the map. Besides that, it's a, it's a sweet game, especially when all the rest of the characters are you know, What? And every player literally moves uh -huh. how you expect them to move. No. Like, Hulk. Every gun? No. Like, if you got Hulk, for instance. You said what? If you got Hulk, for instance, he'll literally move slower than every other character when it comes to dodging and stuff like that. So, it really moves just right. It moves just right. You got Cat, he moves how Cat will move in real life. If you got Black Widow, she moves how she will move in real life. If you got Thor, he's a, he don't really move too much. He's more of a power character. So, that, yeah, it's fire, y'all. I'm telling y'all, it's fire. I really don't know what else to show y'all. As y'all can see, this is a free roam. This is, this is a free roam mission at that. This mission is a free roam. It's not like you get on the game and you just running around the world map with everybody. You just running around the map with your teammates, you know, Defeating enemies and doing all the missions. Yeah, if I had to rate this game, I'd give it a nine and a half. I just don't like the world motion blur when you fighting. Hopefully they fix it when the next game come out. And I'm out, man. Make sure y'all leave a like and a subscribe. I'm done.